What's going on, everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another clip of your Crystal Guardians video. Today, guys, we're going to be doing uh, Vapor Dreamland level 85. I've been getting a lot of DMs, a lot of comments about how to beat level 85, which we'll get into that in one second. Now, I would use my free-to-play team, guys, that I'm building currently to do floor, level, uh, floor 80, 90, and 100. Don't worry. It's 325 in the morning, guys. Epic fail. Baseballs is here for you guys. But I am building my free-to-play team for you guys because everybody's saying that you can't do it without Medusa, and that is 100% not true. You can do it without Medusa, and I'm going to show you guys. I'm building my Ogre, my Centaur. I finally found a place for Alice. I think she's going to be great in Vapor, but we'll get into that in the next video. I would use that team now, but again, it's not ready yet. I need to do some summonings, which I'm going to do later today because I need food to build all this stuff. Now I count just, I almost have like every single monster built on my account now. Now the, the key here is now, guys, don't worry. It, just because somebody has five stars, it doesn't mean anything because even me with five stars, I can get one shot the same as you using a two star or three star or a four star as long as you're using the same general concept which is control poison immunity it doesn't matter if it's a five star or a three star or a two star it does not matter guys it's just when people pull five stars they like to use their five stars and i get it 100 percent because i'm the same way but this absolutely can be done with no five stars at all and i am going to show you because the team that i'm building has zero five stars in it it really just comes down to team synergy and control as i always tell you guys vapor dreamland is all about control 100 percent, you need to be in control and you need to have a little bit of rng in your favor because if these spider queens take a turn no matter what you're using whether it's a nat 5 or nat 3 and i cannot say it enough you are going to get one shot even me all the time i fail this floor even with all these nat 5s i still fail this floor sometimes because it honestly doesn't matter if it's a nat 5 because if they take a turn, they're going to one-shot you. Now, these ones don't hit as hard as the boss ones. I'll tell you that much, you know, off the bat. This this stuff is a lot easier to clear than the ones that are next to Succubus herself. But what happens is Succubus tends to sleep you. So I you definitely need immunity for this. Oh, I recommend immunity. You might be able to pull it off without it. But it definitely makes it a lot, lot easier if you have immunity on your team. And you're definitely going to need a healer for this. Just in case she goes crazy and starts taking a bunch of turns. So you can use like the Paladin. I'm going to try to give you some like other options. You can use the Paladin, Paladin instead of Selene. You can use like Arcanus or any type of damage dealer that has like a Freeze or a Stun instead of Loki. You can use the Mummy instead of Medusa or Abyss or the Ogre. Anything that has a debuff. Because the key here, guys, it, the key to beating Succubus is getting up as many debuffs on her as possible. And when I say debuffs, I mean like HP, Burns, or Poisons. Even in my team here, I should probably have something else that's doing a debuff. It would probably make it a lot safer. But I usually don't have an issue uh, doing this floor. Oops. Yeah, I, mean, I, I usually don't have an issue doing this floor because I have a lot of damage and I'm on all Berserk runes. But now you don't need Berserk runes. Like, don't, don't let that fool you neither. You can absolutely beat this without Berserk runes. A lot of people say that as well. Like, you need Nat5s, you need Berserk runes. That is 100% not true. The... The truth of it is, is you need control. You need control. You see that she almost one shot my Medusa. You just need control. As long as you're in control of the situation, you are going to be just fine. And you have a strong healer just in case something like that happens. I'm going to try to one shot them here. Oh, at least we got that thing off of her. There we go. You need some type of strong, strong damage dealer. It doesn't have to be Loki, of course. Not everybody's going to have Loki. I'm going to heal my Medusa just in case. But again, it comes all down to control, guys. Even here, this was bad control. We had bad RNG. We weren't hitting our petrifies. Loki wasn't hitting his freezes. But we still got through it. Because that's why I recommend bringing a healer for this stage. 100% I recommend it. Because somewhere down the line, somebody's going to take a turn. And if they do, they do massive, massive damage. So yeah, you could use a Paladin. And you could use a Centaur instead of Shaman. Like, there's just so many. The thing about this game, guys, is the two stars, the three stars, and the four stars, they're, like, just as good as some five stars. Like, the balance in this game is a little is a little funny because they make the three stars and the four stars just as good as the five stars. The problem comes down to is people, when they build their monsters, is they just build what, they're, what they like to build. They don't necessarily build what they should be building for the content that they're doing at the time. What happens is they start pulling, like, you know, monsters that they like and they want to build, so they start building them, not realizing that that monster is not going to help them in, you know, in vapor or whatever content they're doing at the time. And I understand it because I do it myself. You know, I pull something and I like it and I build it immediately. But what it comes down to is like you want to make sure whatever content you're doing at the time, 
those are the monsters that you're building. So you want to make sure, like if you're doing vapor, you want to make sure you're building stuns and freezes and energy reduce. So you want to make sure you're sticking, you know, to the content you're, that you're doing at the time. And the same thing for the lair. Like if you're doing a lair, you want to make sure you're building swordsmans or, you know, whatever that content is. But the biggest thing I notice is people build what they want to build and they don't necessarily build what they should be building. And I, and I actually noticed this the other day when I was helping somebody in my Discord. Damo, I love you, brother. This is nothing personal. I love you so much. But I kept telling him, you know, build the Wyatt. I've been telling him for like two weeks now to build his Wyatt. Because I said, you know, the Wyatt will carry you in like, you know, the lair. You can use her in Vapor. You can use her all over the game. He's like, no, nah, she's trash. I don't want to build her. And he's like, I don't like her. But like the thing is, like, she's definitely not trash. She's 100% not trash. She's probably one of the best Nat 3s in the game. And you can use her in pretty much every single piece of content in this game. But he just, something about her, he doesn't want to build her. So it's like, and, and I feel like a lot of people think that way. And it's like, they just don't want to build something just because they don't like it. And they'd rather build something else. But what people don't realize is that why it will like carry you through like so much content. And it'll make your run so much faster. So just keep that in mind, guys. Just make sure sometimes when you're making your six stars and you're building your five stars, just make sure you're building what you need for upcoming content that you're going to get into in the future. Because it will make your gameplay a lot easier. And it doesn't have to be Nat 5s. I know people pull a Nat 5 and it's like they build it just because they're Nat 5. But it, besides that, let's get into this boss fight now. Now, what happens here is if, you do, if RNG is in your favor and you miss your stun or your petrify or whatever it is, Succubus takes a turn, she sleeps you, then the side spider queens come out of their control and then they one-shot you. So you need a little bit of RNG in your favor, and I would definitely 100% recommend bringing immunity into this fight. Because what happens is, if she has like 100% sleep rate, I've never seen her not sleep my team if I didn't have immunity up. So that's why I 100% like to bring immunity into this. And for some reason, they always go after my Medusa, which is not good. Because I need Medusa alive to beat this, because she's the only thing that has poisons. She's the only thing that brings debuffs to this for me. So right here is my first part of RNG. I have to hit this, and sometimes I don't. Oh, we got it there, which is very good. That makes me feel a lot better. But then, now I'll save Loki's freeze for the second round, and I'll freeze them up in the second round. But this one looks like it's going to be starting off okay. But just because it's starting off okay, it doesn't mean anything. Because what's going to happen now is she's going to come straight after my she's going to come straight after my Medusa. And I actually rather hit my... I'm going to try to full heal my Medusa just for the fact that... Ugh. See, it's the, you see how hard she hits, guys? It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible how hard she hits. That's why I recommend bringing immunity. I probably should have put the immunity up before I put up my speed buff, but that's okay. Maybe we can pull this off because we got a full heal. That's why I recommend bringing a healer as well because no matter what, if she takes a turn, she's going to do hefty, hefty damage, guys, as you saw. So now we need to get some poisons up on her and an attack down. That's important. Attack down and poisons is the most important thing to get up on the succubus. Now this spider queen here is going to take a turn. I want to try to get a speed slow on her. Uh, see if we can freeze. Please, Loki, freeze, freeze. All right, we got that one, which is good. That is very good, actually. Let's see if we can one-shot her. Ugh. I was hoping because we had the shaman thing up that we would be able to one-shot her, but that didn't happen. Okay, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. Now, we got the attack. Let's see if we can get an attack down on her. Oh, good. We one-shot her. Now, she's out of the picture. Normally, I, I wouldn't attack them too much, but I saw that she had that damage thing up, so I, I wanted to just get her out of the picture, which worked out well. So, so here, we're actually in pretty good shape, guys. Sometimes this doesn't go like this. Spaceballs fails this stage all the time, guys. Don't think because you see me doing this now that I always do it this easy. That is not true at all. Sometimes, like, she just goes nuts and she starts one-shotting everything. And it happens to me all the time. And my Medusa is constantly sleeped and I can't get poisons up. So she just keeps taking turns and turns and turns. And it makes this really, really, really hard for me. All right, good. We needed that proc. And now, again, I have to control the Spider Queen so I can't use poisons. So it's going to let Succubus take another turn. Oh, there we go. We need some poisons. We need... Oh, good job, Medusa. See, you need a little bit of RNG in your favor as well. A little bit of RNG goes a long way. We're going to save the freeze for that Spider Queen. This is looking pretty good for us. But again, this can easily just totally switch and go the other way. Because if my, if my Medusa gets one shot, it's game over. But she is... Oh, man, she is a... Now I see why everybody says Medusa is broken. I get it. I understand it. Okay, we lost him. That's okay. But now the problem with this is they're going to start hitting my my Medusa, and we definitely do not want that. Let's put up some immunity. Defense break? Ah. 
And we're not going to use the freeze quite yet. We're going to stay away from the freeze. Yeah, see, this one went good for us, guys. But again, you see how hard she is. We could have easily got one shot. That's you don't. But one thing, guys, you do not need invincibility. 100%, you do not need invincibility. You just need immunity. Druad will do just fine with the defense buff and immunity. Trust me on that one. I'm going to play it safe here and try to... Ugh. Should just went for the poisons. I think we're good here anyways. That's why I'm not even healing my Loki. Normally I would heal my Loki. But I think we're good here. We can just get up a few more poisons. Yeah, we're good. So we did it. So that's th that's pretty much the key to level 85, guys. And it, don't get turned off because I used my 5-star team. That has nothing to do with 5-stars. As long as you saw, as long as you're in control of the Spider Queens and you have some type of immunity to stop her from sleeping you, you should be just fine. And you need a strong healer as well. As you saw, a healer is very, very important because she does massive, massive damage, guys. As I said, the damage she does is absolutely 100% massive. So don't, don't think because I have five stars, that's the only reason I beat it because that's not true. There is videos out there with people doing this with two stars and three stars. Trust me on that one. You do not need five stars, guys. As you can see, I'm saving level 80 here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these ones. I'm going to bring this one up to level 86. I'm going to bring up to level 90 and 87. I'm going to bring up to level 100. And then one video for you guys. I'm going to use a free to play team. When I say free to play, I mean no five stars. And we're going to go. We're going to do 80, 90, and 100 in one video. And then we're going to do the same thing on hard. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do 80, 90, and 100 in one video for you guys with a free to play team. Just to show you guys that. Even though there's videos out there showing this already that you do not need Medusa to do this. It just makes it a lot easier, but you absolutely don't need her. We'll quickly go over the team that I'm building so I can show you guys. I don't know who the fifth person on the team is going to be yet, but it's going to be like this. It's going to be Yakshasha. Uh, Yakshasha. I know that made you smile. Yaksha is going to be our leader. And the reason why is because she has the same lead as Medusa. 41 hit percentage, so she is going to be our leader. Okay. Our second up is going to be the Ogre. Because he has HP burns. So that's that's going to be our second. Our third is going to be the Centaur. Because he's got uh, Energy Reduce. He's got uh, something uh, slow. He's got slow. Now I want to pair him with Alice. Because Alice has this skill here. If the enemy is slowed, she'll stun them for one turn. So I feel like pairing these two together, it's going to make an awesome combo for Vapor. Because there's just going to be so much CC going on between the Energy Reduce and the slow. Now, I haven't decided if I'm going to use Minotaur Chief for my fifth or what was the other fifth I had in mind? I forget the other one I had in mind. I had somebody else in mind too for the fifth. It's either going to be Minotaur. I, I want to think I want to use Minotaur Chief because you can craft Minotaur Chief and the Ogre. And you can actually, I can actually put Shield Guard there too. But I might need a healer for stage 90. I'm not sure yet. So I might have to build a, the Paladin as well. That's the only reason I haven't used this team yet because it's a lot of building I have to do. But don't worry, Space Balls is coming with the summoning session later today so I can build this whole team by Monday. And we can get it rocking and rolling. I might stick the Harpy in there too. I haven't quite decided yet. I have to see how it goes. Well, I'm going to test all this stuff out. But just to give you guys a basis of a free-to-play team, you could go like what I'm doing. Centaur is so good for this stuff. Alice is going to be great for this stuff. Uh, Ogre is amazing for this stuff. Harpy is amazing for this stuff. And these are all three, four-star champion uh, monsters. So guys, just like I said, why is going to be really good for this stuff. Um, Yaksha, if you happen to have her, she's going to be very good because she has the accuracy lead. But other than that, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope this helped you. I know I use Nat 5s, guys, but again, I, I try to show you, you know, other monsters you can use in place of the Nat 5s. You don't need Nat 5s necessarily. It just It's just fun to use, of course. If you're going to pull them, you're going to use them. But as always, guys, from the bottom of my heart... Baseballs loves each and every single one of you. We're almost at like 450 subs. I'm going to start a giveaway. I'm going to put the giveaway up before this video. But remember, guys, make sure you're uh, liking and commenting on all my videos because we have a random giveaway going on as well. And the only way to be a part of that is by um, liking and commenting on my videos and being subbed, of course. So if you're not a part of our normal giveaway, make sure you go down to the description and you click that giveaway because I just started it. So that's a new giveaway. We'll pick the winner next week. Uh, also, if you're not a part of our Discord, make sure you go down to the description and you click for the Discord. The Discord is amazing. There's so many helpful and happy people in there. We would love to see you guys in there. But as always, guys, from the bottom of my heart, I will see you in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace.